Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, The Dentistry Girl, and I am Avni Singh presenting you all our other topic of oral path, which is radicular cyst. But before starting it, let me inform you that I was also made some videos on other topics like OKC, COC, dentigerous cyst, and varicose carcinoma. So you can check them out on my YouTube channel or by the link which I had given in my description box. Okay, so let's start with the introduction of radicular cyst. Firstly, we will talk about its other name. It is also called as periapical cyst. It is arises from epithelial proliferation due to inflammatory stimulus. Okay, here this proliferation results of inflammation by bacterial products okay it is most common inflammatory cyst okay approximately 50 to 60 percent of jaw cyst its lining is derived from epithelial cell reds of malices okay now moving toward its clinical features it is most common inflammatory cyst okay found in 3 to 6 decade predominantly in males any infected carriers teeth okay now we will discuss its uh, order in which it is found okay so it is predominantly found in maxillary anterior teeth followed by maxillary posterior teeth followed by mandibular posterior teeth followed by mandibular anterior teeth all right usually asymptomatic and pain is rare okay other clinical features include does not respond to pulp test now moving towards the radiographic features it is round oval radio lucency okay radio opaque margins Okay, it is round over radio lucency, but its margins are radio opaque. Hmm. Root resorption present. Okay, loss of lamina, duria, sorry, dura, not possible to differentiate. Periapical granuloma. 
कि इजी टॉपिक है अगर दो तीन बार एक बार रीडिंग भी ढंग से हो गया तो आसानी से समझ आ जाएगा नाउ इट्स हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी इट्स हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी इंक्लूड्स दैट दिस सिस्ट इज लाइन बाय स्ट्रेटिफाइड स्क्वामस एपिथीलियम ओके थिकनेस इंक्लूड्स वन टू फिफ्टी सेल थिक ओके दिस स्ट्रेटिफाइड स्क्वामस एपिथीलियम दीज एपिथीलियल लाइनिंग आर proliferating and shows what arcading pattern okay so as shown in this picture these are the arcading patterns so these epithelial lining are shows like this this is the shape of arcading okay now metaplasia of epithelium may be observed in form of mucus cells as well as ciliated cells okay these mucus cells and ciliated cells in this hyaline and russian bodies also present which is also found in dentigerous cyst okay and here these hyaline and russian bodies are linear concentric and curved okay now its histopathology also includes cholesterol clefts what are they these cholesterol clefts these are formed by accumulation of cholesterol which then dissolve out during histology preparation okay here are the cholesterol clefts these are hmm these are formed by the accumulation of cholesterol which is dissolved out during histology preparation now at last we will talk about its treatment no for treatment we can do extraction with curettage okay and the other one is root canal therapy but if our lesion is large then and don't take surgery may be done so here we end our topic i hope you all enjoyed it so please to like share and subscribe to my channel and if any of you want to study specific topic let me know in the comment box i will try to make it as easy as possible okay so thank you guys bye bye